We've seen that Descartes and Plato are both rationalists. That is, that they have a theory of epistemology, a theory of knowledge, that has really two basic parts to it. So to the question of where do our ideas come from, they say, well, they're innately in our mind from birth. In Descartes' case, he argues, look, those ideas are in our mind because God put them in our mind. And then to the question of how is it possible to know anything, uh, they say, well, look, we're born with the right ideas, and then we just use our rationality, our reasoning, to think through those ideas, and that's how we gain knowledge. That's what we saw Descartes doing, building up his knowledge from the, those two indubitably certain ideas, I think, therefore I am, and then using deductive reasoning to gain new knowledge from there. Now, we saw that Descartes' project eh, isn't terribly uh, satisfying to, to a lot of us, so we're casting around for a different theory of how it is that we gain knowledge. So we're going to look now at empiricists, and in particular uh, uh, today at John Locke, uh, and he's got two different answers to those questions that Descartes and Plato were wrestling with. So instead of thinking that our ideas are just in us innately from birth, Locke and other empiricists have this idea that, no, we only get our ideas from experience with the world, from going out and having sensory experiences of how things are. Uh, and then how is it that we come to know anything? Well, it's not so much by taking those ideas and, and thinking carefully about them, but it's just a matter of going out and having the right experiences. If you don't have an experience with something, you're not going to know how it works. So the picture of the mind that Locke has is what, what he himself calls a, the mind as a blank slate or tabula rasa. Uh, it, I don't think he calls it a blank slate in the particular reading that I gave you, but he does refer to it as a blank piece of paper. So same thing, like a blank piece of paper, or a blank chalkboard, something like that. You're born with just this complete blank. You don't have any ideas written on the paper of your mind to start off with, like Descartes and Plato thought. No, instead you need the, uh, the pen of experience to come in and draw ideas into your mind. That's the only way you're going to get ideas. So the vision that uh, Locke has is that you have two ways of getting ideas onto this blank paper in your mind. The first are your senses, like your sight, your taste, your touch, etc. Those senses can transmit um, uh, experiences from the world into ideas in your mind. And then if you want to know stuff about, well, what's going on in your own mind, what is it that you believe or desire or whether you're doubting, well, then you've got kind of a special inner sense that can look inside your own mind and get experience with the operations of your own mind. And that's how you know whether you're doubting or desiring or believing or what have you. So in the first instance, uh, you might ask, well, okay, so how do I get the idea of a penguin? How am I able to think thoughts about penguins? Well, if you're, if you're Plato, uh, Plato would say, well, look, you're just bored with the idea of a penguin. And so when you go out into the world and you see certain things, uh, those kind of remind you, oh, yeah, those kind of look like those penguins that I, I had forgotten about. Locke, on the other hand, says, no, you're born with just this complete blank sheet of paper. You don't have any idea of Penguin to start with. But when you go out into the world, you travel down to, to Argentina and you look at a particular penguin. Well, that that penguin, that's going to, you know, send some photons flying into your your retina. And then that's somehow going to pop put a little idea of a penguin in your mind. And so now since you've had the right experience with penguins, you now have an idea of a penguin written on that blank paper in your mind. So I guess less metaphorically, it goes something like this. Now, another interesting question you might ask is, yeah, what the heck is going on in your brain such that you have an, what is an idea of a penguin in the first place? Uh, we'll take a look at that question a little later on in class. But for Locke, the idea is, look, you don't have that idea of a penguin in your mind until you go out and experience it with your senses. 
Now, you might also ask, well, gosh, well, how do I know about what's going on in my own mind? Descartes thought he could just kind of just it was immediately obvious. Oh gosh, if I'm if I'm doubting, it's just immediately obvious to me that I'm doubting. Locke says, well, in addition to sensation, you've got this other faculty, this faculty of reflection, where you're able to sense in your own mind what's going on. So if in the on the blank paper in your mind there's some doubting going on you can turn your reflection onto uh, that blank paper and and see aha there's some doubting going on there that's how I know uh, what doubt is and that doubt is going on so the way that we come to know what we ourselves are thinking and feeling is the same sort of process that we use to figure out what penguins and tables and chairs and those sorts of things are so we'll see there are some problems with this a more empiricist uh, uh, way of thinking, and we'll take a look at those in, in a future video, but then also see what some of the reasons are that Locke thinks that this is the right way to think about how knowledge works.